What's going on Outlaws and welcome back to the channel. We've got some interesting stuff coming up in today's video. As you guys are aware, we are exposing cheaters completely. I'm talking gamer tags, naming and shaming. We're gonna kick some First of all, I wanna start off by saying a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel. The support from everyone has been absolutely amazing, so thank you for that. Thank you for the videos. I do watch every single video that you guys send me. I hope you guys are practicing extremely hard. And to be honest, I have actually noticed a significant change in PVP nowadays. There seems to be a lot more high to elite level competitors. So that's always interesting to see. Also, don't forget to use call to arms. It's a good way of practicing your headshots, your sniping, your switch shot. You can practice everything there. I know it tends to get a little bit difficult around wave seven and eight, but if you do it with your friends, then it's certainly a lot easier. It's by far one of the greatest ways to practice in my opinion. And for the first six waves, I tend to only use free aim. Now, the first thing on the agenda, guys, we're gonna be looking at the lag switcher. Not only that, but the unstable servers that are causing people to teleport also. We will be making a comparison between the two. We're then gonna be moving on to the Cronus users of today. I'm gonna be showing you guys, and especially a lot of you new guys coming through, how it's corrupting Red Dead Online. I'm gonna show you a further insight into the different scripts that people are selling nowadays and how that's causing problems in general we're also going to take a serious look at paypal hacking and what we can do to keep ourselves safe as usual guys there's going to be fun and jokes all the way through this if your name does come up at any point guys and you take great offense to anything that i've said then you can write to me at destiny shoots where i'll get an opportunity to abuse you even more there will be tips and tricks throughout the video guys so make sure you stick around for that also stick around for the end of the show where I'm gonna be awarding the noob of the week. It could be you, it could be someone you know, so stick around for that. But it's definitely gonna be given to the most dumbest player of the week. Okay, let's take a look at the lag switcher. Okay guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this from different angles also. But first of all, I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on so you fully understand this. And you're able to see this when someone is in fact lag switching and the difference between lag switching and someone that's just experiencing server issues. Now, understanding the difference between a rookie lag switcher and a veteran lag switcher is actually quite important. A veteran lag switcher will do something very, very simple. They'll place themselves behind the object first, then they'll push their lag switch, and then they'll move out from the object to kill their opponent. Their opponent is still gonna think that they're behind the object in question. Now, there's also one more part to this veteran tryhard, and I'm talking about the dead eye cards. And the reason this is quite important is because if you're dealing with a lag switcher that is placing himself behind an object, then that lag switcher is vulnerable to people shooting him in the back, right? Wrong. If he's using a card such as slippery for example, who's gonna kill him from behind? Because every shot they paint on him is gonna miss anyway. So normally, if you paint a lag switcher and you shoot the lag switcher, it will catch up to them and kill them in their own time. So if someone's using Slippery and you paint that target, it can't possibly catch up and kill them it will catch up and miss them. Now, several people have sent me clips of this and the reason why is because this was actually at the end of a showdown. It was a sudden death between two players and every single person was actually spectating and seeing what this idiot was doing. So as you can see in the video, guys, you're gonna see this guy stop behind something where his opponent can't actually see him, press his lag switch, activate Slippery, 
and then he's gonna move. The video will look confusing, but every single time you watch this, you need to understand he's deliberately stopping behind an object, pushing his lag switch, clicking on slippery, and then going to terminate his opponent. Now, let's do what I do best. Let's expose this absolute <laughs> this <laughs> little <laughs> Me to judge Judy, puto. Now let's talk about the lag switch in tryhard. Now for you guys that want the identity of the lag switcher, this particular account is VKTSV. Yes, you heard it correctly. The well-known KTS rage quitters. Now, not only are they rage quitters, but they're a bunch of cheaters. My advice is to stay away from this group since they can't take losing and they'll do just about anything to win. Now, the person behind VKTSV is this gamer tag, and it didn't really take a lot of searching to find out who this person was. So if you come across these people, guys, remember they will rage quit because they can't take losing and they will do anything to win. Always distance yourselves from cheaters and they're a bunch of dumb asses. Yeah, that's right, KTS. You're all a bunch of dumb asses. Anyone that sits there and says, well, I haven't got nothing to do with this. You're in the group. You know these people are doing this. You're all responsible. You're all a bunch of crybabies. You're all a bunch of little Now we've got those little cheating douchebags out the way. Let's move on to other internet problems. Now this is gonna be pretty simple, guys. To be able to spot someone that's having general internet issues is actually pretty simple. Now, first of all, we're playing on a platform where Rockstar are using servers that are not stable and everyone needs to start understanding that. This game is not on that competitive level quite simply because of the server issues. You're always gonna get players that are a half second in front of you and a half second behind you. Now it's true that some of this can come down to mentality and mind frame at the time. However, if you're within your crew, why don't you try doing the shot test? You will fire at the exact same moment to see who's in front and who's behind and you'll start to understand that when you do go into a shootout series that it's never gonna be equal. That's why this game is never gonna be on that competitive level. And most people wanna compete at that level and be skilled players, fast players. But how can you achieve such things when people are a second in front or a half second behind? You're never gonna achieve that because it's never stable enough. Look at how many bugs there are. Look at how many bugs there's been since the beginning of Red Dead Online. There's too many things that go wrong and that are not stable. Now, for someone that doesn't have a clue how to use a lag switch, he's gonna be pressing it in the middle of the battlefield. So he's gonna be teleporting all over the place. He's not gonna know what he's doing and he's gonna end up lagging himself out of the game. Now, there's not a lot of difference between seeing something like that and someone with an unstable server. If someone has internet issues and they've got a really slow connection, so on and so forth, you know the type of internet that I'm talking about. If there's someone that you play side by side with, then you're gonna notice that when you're doing a delivery, they're teleporting all over the place, you know it's internet problems. And those rookie lag switches that use it in the middle of the battlefield is gonna look very similar to someone who's having server issues. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below about this. And and also let me know what you think about Rockstar and the servers that they're using. This week, each one of you has a homework assignment. You're gonna go out, you're gonna start a fight with a total stranger. You're gonna start a fight and you're gonna lose. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. You do not talk about Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Second rule of Fight Club is do not talk about Fight Club. Yeah.
Okay guys, we're gonna take a closer look at what's going on with Cronus Max in Red Dead Online nowadays. Now, as you guys are probably aware, Cronus is a USB device that you plug into your Xbox, and then you run that USB cable into your control pad. With Cronus Zen, you can actually do it on Bluetooth, and if everyone's aware, Red Dead Online nowadays is infested with it. But let me just point out a few things from my point of view. Now, Cronus Max was designed for handicapped people now what i mean by that that's people with physical issues if you have physical issues and you can't activate dead eye simply by using your control pad and it's too difficult for you then you need cronus max if you are someone that has a mental impairment then a similar thing you might not be able to activate dead eye when you're aiming your weapon and again cronus comes in handy for these types of individuals now the reason why red dead online is so infested with cronus max these days is because of people that are putting bullshit out there they're saying that cronus can do things that it simply can't do and they're trying to fool you into thinking that you need it you're going to benefit from it but i'm about to expose that right now so next time one of your friends says cronus can do all this dumb stuff it can make your character levitate in the air when your friend's saying that to you i want you to point them in the direction of this video and i want you to ask them for physical evidence that shows this because i'm telling you right now it's absolute bullshit and it's unreal how long that this has gone on for i've had so many people sending me inboxes about people that have sold them a script that have ripped them off that have stolen their money and guys i've preached this before i've said it a million times and it's down to you guys to make that call now for you guys that have been involved in this i've promised to keep your identities safe and that's absolutely fine Someone's actually been good enough to send us a screenshot of the script that they bought from MXR No Mercy and I'm about to debunk the entire thing. First of all, let's take a look at that script and let's see what he's promising players. Okay, so this is the alleged auto dead eye and auto headshot. Now, straight away, I can already see a problem with this, so we'll just call this issue number one for now. Same thing, we're killing the NPCs. Now the rapid fire script and the same rapid fire while using a Carcano, same rapid fire while using Mausers and Carcano rapid fire while sitting on a horse. Now let's show everyone why this guy is a fat con man. First of all, before I get too technical, I'm going to lay down for you guys the exact same type of gameplay that I'm doing with my control pad demonstrating these exact same moves. Okay, so first of all, this is me simply aiming my weapon and pushing in Deadeye at the same time. It's not difficult unless you have any of the impairments that I've already listed. This is me using up aim with Deadeye and taking the shot, so as if I am aiming towards the player's head. This is me doing the glitch Carcano rapid fire, and as you can see, it's absolutely useless. Now this is me demonstrating the rapid fire. As you can see, it's really hard to do. You have to keep pressing the same button repeatedly. <laughs> okay, so now you guys can see that all the moves are achievable with your control pad and you don't actually need Cronus Max. But let me explain something to you about Cronus Max. You're about to see footage from MXR No Mercy's script. Now, this is gonna be very simple for me to explain to you guys. There's something called an input lag. Now, what that means is there's a delay. If you press LT to aim your weapon and you're expecting Deadeye to come on, guess what? There's a delay. There's a delay with Deadeye coming on and there's also a delay with it moving up towards the head. It's called an input lag. Now, this footage was given to us by one of the people that claims that they were ripped off 
in my opinion, 100% you were ripped off by him and as you will be by the other script sellers on YouTube. Now, I asked the same individual to go away and record a video of them activating Deadeye and aiming up towards the head to see how fast they could achieve this without using Kronos. And of course, the results are obvious. There's no input lag, so you're a lot faster than someone who is using Kronos. Now, for any newcomers to the channel or anybody that's not sub to the channel do you guys understand exactly what i'm saying to you look at how fast you are without using Kronos. i'm further going to back this up for those of you that still don't believe what i'm saying now i got in contact with no mercy back in may where he wanted to pretend to be little fake bffs it came out of his own mouth that players are faster than Cronus will ever be. And this is in contradiction of what he sells. And unfortunately for him, that's coming straight out of the con man's mouth. So why else is he a con man? Well, I've just shown you the video footage of what the Cronus Max actually does and does not do. Now, quite simply, let's take another look at the video that he's promoting on YouTube. Now, if you remember correctly, guys, earlier on, I said that this was issue number one. Can you tell me what the problem is here? There is absolutely no input lag when he is switching on Deadeye, which suggests what? He's standing in a field activating Deadeye himself and calling it quick Deadeye, but that's not what you're getting in your script. You're getting a delayed Deadeye. So I say this with absolute ease. He's a f***ing con man. And what do you get with the headshots? So he's standing here killing the NPC, saying that this is the auto headshot script, yeah? Guess what? There's no input lag. Deadeye's coming on straight away, and he's moving the cursor up towards the head himself. There is no input lag, which makes him a con man, a liar, and unfortunately, he's a fat now to try to get as much evidence for you guys as possible to back this up i have searched on youtube to find other content creators that would have covered Cronus max to this type of level now i've not ever spoken to this person before but there's a youtuber called forelli some of you guys might be familiar with this dude however he has physically tried out Cronus max for himself and one of the things that he says and states is that there is a lag it takes time for the dead eye to come on. It takes time for the headshot to move up towards the head. If you don't believe me, check out the content also. He's stating the exact same thing that I'm telling you guys now. Now, what does it mean when someone puts out um, that there's a new Cronus Max script out there and it's update 79.4? Well, what it actually means is every single time the Rockstar release a new update, there's normally a whole list of glitches and bugs that come along with this. Now, if the glitches are useful, like for example, a Carcano rapid fire or a tonic glitch or something like that, people then include that glitch in the script and they say that this is update 79.4, which it's just a load of bullshit. It should enable you to be able to do certain glitches within the game with ease. But even that theory is not the case. Because if you look at the script right here, it states that you have to put on a beaver hood outfit. And then to reattach your beaver hood, you have to press these two buttons. And then your hat comes back on, right? But if you press LB and RB and select the hood, it will come back on anyway. So why should I exchange the two buttons I'm already using for the two buttons that you're using in your script? And unfortunately, the whole thing is hype, it's a con, and it's bullshit. These updated versions of the scripts don't mean shit when you can already do the glitches that are in the game. It's a fact. And for all the people that were conned out of this script, I advise to go to the Cronus Max website, to the library, and just download a standard news bar script that includes auto headshots, auto dead eye, rapid fire, so on and so forth. Then I ask them the question, does it do the exact same thing that this fat idiot has sold you? And the answer was yes, because these scripts were made for people with impairments and they need this to activate Deadeye. They need this to be able to fire one shot after the other. And unfortunately, the basic fundamentals of every single script is exactly the same. And for any of you dudes out there that believes that you can activate Slippery and PIB at the exact same time and it's because someone's using Cronus, yeah, that's kind of wrong, isn't it? 
it's not physically possible to be able to do that. Anyway, we're gonna move on from this now, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and just before i forget massive shout out to everyone who's using the afk script smile you're on camera you little dickhead okay guys we now come towards the end of the show we're going to be looking at paypal hacking now look at these accounts very carefully i'm not going to warn you guys twice about these accounts now these two accounts have been flagged on multiple occasions for not only hacking people's paypal but locating their ip addresses now for you guys that don't understand how this is even possible i'm going to be giving you some tips just to keep yourselves safe now the first thing you can do is set up a secure pass key that way no one's going to be able to infiltrate your account and secondly what you need to do guys is accounts like this anyone that you think is suspicious do not invite into your group party chat the second you do that you open up a channel to where they are able to locate your ip address now this individual is actually taking pleasure in telling people that that's what he's doing i can tell you right now i've seen dms from other players and how their paypals have in fact been hacked i'm talking several purchases that are being made from your xbox account that you've never made but not only that we're talking about paypal here we're talking ebay amazon everything people have mysteriously have had purchases made on their accounts when they haven't made it and this is the main two accounts that it's coming from now if you have been hacked at all don't bother going to xbox about it because i know you've been hacked on xbox but this is a paypal issue you need to go through private courts and that is the only way to bring idiots like this to justice if you are worried about idiots like this then you can simply just remove your card from xbox every time you purchase once a month i know you shouldn't have to do that but it will keep you guys safe now if any of you guys have been hacked and you think it is coming from this individual contact the show because we have this person's real identity ip address and we'll be able to tell you if this is the main individual responsible don't befriend this person don't go near this person because he will rip you off if you think he won't then you're definitely going to be in for a real treat i've warned you guys and i'm not going to stick a second warning out there this is very very real and this is very serious now guys that moment you've all been waiting for it's the noob of the week congratulations to spooky of cdsx no one's ever heard of you anyway a level 500 running around in a pvp event off the radar no lock on now i'm not being funny dude but if it wasn't for players like me you wouldn't get killed at all because no one knows you're even there but seasoned players like myself have no issue capping little idiots like you. I mean, at level 500, you still feel the need to go off radar to try to win. Sadly, this is another good example of one of society's rejects. If you need any help or tips and tricks playing the game, dude, just ask, because quite clearly, you're just a little geek. Shout out to all you guys that are trained with us over the last couple of weeks. OG Morrow, Clown Killer, Clen big respect anyway stick around guys plenty of videos coming out from monday onwards look forward to that and i'll see you all in the next video